After it is launched by a solid rocket booster, the Naval Strike missile is propelled by a micro-turbo TRI-40 turbojet engine, which has a tiny infrared signature. Although RCS reduction was certainly a priority when designing the missile, one of the main reasons why the weapon is so hard to detect is its tiny size. It is just 48 centimeters in diameter, meaning even without RCS reduction techniques, it's a hard weapon to spot. One of the primary shortcomings of the Naval Strike missile platform is its relatively small payload, a semi-armor-piercing blast fragmentation warhead that weighs just 125 kilos or 250 pounds, a far cry from the LRASM's 1,000-pound broach warhead. However, as we saw with the loss of Sheffield, which succumbed to a fire that was started by an exocet that didn't even detonate, even this sized explosion inside a modern warship can do tremendous damage, although certainly multiple hits would be required to do crippling damage to a capital ship. 